We also have some important commentary for you. We caught up with Mahesh Patel of Aditya Birla Sun Life AMC to understand the road ahead for market fundamentals as well as the sectors that ke he's keeping an eye on. Listen in to what he had to say then. This year at least rural should come back and monsoons have been uh, fairly uh, good. I mean, uh, initially they were a bit late, but I think they have caught up. So I think that should not be such a concern. Uh, rural again, uh, wages also, right? Uh, the real wage growth, which was negative, is now turned uh, slightly positive because inflation has come down. So I think all these bouts are uh, well for uh, pickup uh, in the rural economy, though it's it's still very, very slow and gradual, I would say. Uh, I mean, if you look at uh, really to play the rural, it's basically consumption is what you're looking at, right? And broader consumption, which has been kind of lagging behind. I mean, that has uh, lagged the recovery since COVID. I think we should see that, should see some catch up and really to play that, uh, one can look at the consumer staple names, uh, consumer uh, discretionary also. I think consumer durables, uh, uh, even uh, uh, the auto names, for example, right? Where well, auto is still weak. I mean, uh, two wheelers. Uh, last year we had a, a, a reasonably good growth from the bottoms over there, but still it is uh, lower than the uh, almost near to the earlier pre-COVID peak, peak. So there is some amount of room there if rural economy really picks up over there. So I would say consumer staple, consumer discretionary, consumer durables, auto sector uh, are, are could be the sectors okay, which uh, one can look at uh, really to play the whole consumption theme. Mahesh, so where are you picking your spots in this market? Defense, railways, banks, where are you picking your spots in the PSU space? So uh, specifically uh, on, on the PSU side, if you look at it, uh, there I would say uh, the uh, the power sector, for example, uh, the utilities, okay, where, uh, I mean, especially in the power side, power generation and power transmission and distribution side, uh, there has been a clearly an uptick in terms of revision in the targets, right, what has been said earlier. Uh, so that clearly uh, opens up a better growth opportunity in that sector over the next five-year time frame. And, and while the valuations are on the high side, but in... Uh, compared to the historical average, but absolute term, they are still reasonably okay to really uh, look at, at that uh, sector. Also in the power sector, the uh, the energy space, right? The oil and gas sector has, uh, has performed well, but not really done as well, because especially the uh, OMCs, uh, where uh, last quarter was uh, kind of weaker because of the uh, lower refining margins. But I think where the oil is now positioned and uh, and and uh, with oil prices remaining lower, I think uh, you should see a good uh, on, on the company making good on the marketing margin. So I think the oil and gas space uh, in that space is also looking fairly uh, reasonably priced at this point in time. So uh, I think these are the sectors. I think uh, I think in the defense and this thing, while uh, the outlook there continues to remain fairly strong over there, I think one would wait for some kind of a, a moderation because we see some execution slackness in the last quarter. And that could, uh, if there's any correction, I think that it could be a good entry point to look at some of these names on the defense side. Mahesh, we are getting mixed signals. Ajay asked you about rural economy, but I have data from the auto sector which talks about discounts have come back, waiting period is over. I look at toothpaste sales, they are going up. I look at hair oil sales, they are going up. I look at two-wheeler sales, they are going up. Also, the data seems to be very similar. So why are we seeing such a reversal? Rural is suddenly back up and urban and semi-urban is taking a back seat. Yeah, I think so. I think probably, I think we saw rural, I mean, the uh, the urban uh, recovered, I mean, last year, uh, the recovery in the urban was much stronger, especially in the uh, upper uh, segment of the uh, urban population. So the demand for higher-end goods, right, and the premium products was fairly strong. I think there is some amount of kind of a fatigue or saturation probably creeping in over there. I think uh, the... Uh, initial buoyancy what we saw last year. Okay, I think to that, I think there is some kind of a normalization over here. On the other hand, on the on the rule at the bottom of the pyramid, okay, which was uh, really weak uh, for the last uh, one and a half years, I think that is seeing some uh, green shoots because uh, uh, there the uh, the base is, is also kind of favorable uh, if you look at uh, for the last two years. So I think it is more about some kind of a mean reversion of that, okay, where the uh, urban and the upper end of the segment, which was doing very well, is kind of normalizing, and the bottom end, which is kind of weak, is again uh, trending back towards the mean. I think that's, it's more of a normalization trade is what I would see. All right.
If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.